dictatorship down. Forward to a democratic ANC forward. Julius Malema became a household name in 2008 as the outspoken and controversial leader of the ANC Youth League. He held his position for four years until he was expelled in April 2012, and by the middle of the following year, Malema was the commander-in-chief of the newly formed political party, the Economic Freedom Fighters. At Jack and you spent some time with the leader of South Africa's third largest party in an effort to get to know the man behind the Red Berets. Malema started off by explaining how he got into politics. Well, we were very young. I mean, we were uh, uh, taken into the program of the young pioneers. Um, and to us, it was just an exciting activity because we grew up in a, in a, in a township where there were no activities. We will play on the streets and all that. So when we were actually being taken away to go perform this or that task, it, it was so exciting and the songs of the movement as well. When we come together, we sing. And so we got ourselves an activity. Little did we know that this was going to be our life. With the promise of a better life, focus shifted to creating a new South Africa, something he still pushes for today. You, you get to be told that you're going to go to schools with whites, go schools with electricity, with windows and doors and... You're going to be taught with sitting with white people and everything like that. And this community is going to have the roads and street lights. You know, they simplify it like that. And you're like, is this possible? They say, yeah, if we work together as one, this is going to be achieved. Then the Nelson Mandela gets released from jail. Then you get to be told that dream is almost there. We need to push. We've been pushing since that time till today. Malema says getting older has not changed his approach to politics. All I want is good for my people. That's all. Turning to his personal life, Malema, who already has one child, says he wants a big family. I want a big family because uh, I come from a very small family. It was only me and my mother. So having a big family will be an ideal situation. While he will never neglect his family, Malema says South Africa will always come first. Uh, we need to put the interest of the country first. Uh, because uh, if we can't get this country right, it's not even worth getting a family. Because uh, you are just giving birth to children who are going to be subjected to suffering because of dysfunctionality of the state. Malema goes on to explain the life he wants for his children. I want them to live a, a better life where all in society are equal and there are opportunities for all to benefit from. He is open about the important role his grandmother plays in his life. He describes her as a strong woman who still speaks publicly. She still walks without a stick, she still takes microphone and make, you know, very well thought of speeches uh, and input when asked to, to speak and still gives a, a very thought, well thought of, uh, you know, advices from, from uh, uh, that point of view. So, yeah. Malema describes losing his mother as the most difficult moment of his life. And there are days till today where you miss uh, that motherly you know, interaction and touch. Even though he describes himself as a political animal, Malema has a few lesser-known hobbies. Uh, I indulge and I go to clubs. Um, I listen to house music, I listen to Kwaito, I listen to South African hip-hop. I think the hip-hop boys in South Africa are doing very well for themselves. And then uh, uh, I DJ. In my own private space, I do that. Uh, I don't DJ for commercial purposes. Despite all the press, politics and parliament, Malema says he loves this country. I can't, I can't sing. I can't dance. Uh, I'm a political animal. Uh, all I do uh, is, is, is politics. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'm a very caring somebody who is very passionate about uh, his country and uh, his people, yeah.